Thanks. Do you have a favorite part about Toronto? Um, yeah, I like that Kensington area. It was like, uh, reminding me of the way the village used to be back in the 60s. You know, they had a lot of real Army and Navy stores and vintage you know, clothing stores and lots of, lots of Rastafarians. That, a lot of Jamaicans moved in, I guess, years ago in that area. And so it was just kind of reminded me of here. Yeah, it was pretty cool here in the 60s and 70s. The village was really lots of clubs and they were all active you know and a lot of the folk scene was big and jazz and blues and it's still a lot of jazz we got the village vanguard and the blue note over here on third they're still very active how long have you been in this shop about 30 years now used to have a shop around the corner back in the 70s rent changed quite a bit yeah, quite a bit. I used to pay 200 hours a month over around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> That's the 1976s. Hi. How are you? How are you doing? Good. You? Good. <laughs> <laughs> any uh any place you're looking for wood from that is uh, on the list next you know i just don't have room i, I i've been passing up some wood i just have no space left but mm -hmm. i'm always looking for a cool old uh new york buildings you know that uh we just got some from one of the oldest mansions on uh on park avenue oh that was cool and then i just got some from right over here on mcdougall street so that I've been wanting to get some McDougal Street wood. Just I remember to, you talking about that in yeah, the show, yeah. Lincoln Street wood, McDougal Street wood. That's always cool to have, you know, wood from Greenwich Village, iconic streets. Do people call you now when there's wood up for grabs? Oh, yeah, yeah. People have been tipping me off for a few years now. Like, oh, there's a dumpster full here and they'll send me a photo of it or whatever awesome. or some people uh, you know they'll try to bring a few pieces and i'm going this is not old wood because <laughs> they get confused a lot of it a lot of it is uh scaffolding boards when they put up scaffolding around a building right they have rough hewn lumber and as it ages over the years it may only be five years old but it looks old you know so gotcha. they think that's the stuff i use but because it looks very similar it looks weathered yeah yeah no this stuff has got a, a certain look to it that's indistinguishable <laughs> you say hi to vancouver for me Cindy. hi vancouver <laughs> <laughs> thank you sure <laughs> Those morals? Well, I don't know how to do it.